What's up, Pokemon fanatics? My name is Hydrus, and welcome back to the Pokemon X Wonderlock, episode 14, if I do say so myself. So, let's go ahead and look at what we got on our Pokemon team really quick. We have our Fledgender during the little, little grinding montage there. You saw we have a bit of a problem with a Dugtrio, but we managed to survive with our Fledgender. Level 31 with Fly and Wings and Jolly. So this thing is an absolute beast with the Sky Plate right now. So we have the Espeon with the Mind Plate with Takedown, Swift, Bite, and Protect with Synchronize ability with an Impish nature. We have Gyarados, Dragon Rage, Ice Fang, Bite, and Aqua Tail with the Intimidate, but it's a relaxed nature. We have a Tentacruel, which is Liquid Ooze and Gentle with Surf, Water Pulse, Cut, and Venoshock. We have our Larvitar with Bite, Rock Slide, Sandstorm, and Chip Away with the Eviolite, and it's a Guts, Bashful nature. But this thing is just awesome because Guts boosted. Oh. Then we have our Curlia with Calm Mind, Double Team, Magic Leaf, and Confusion with the Trace ability. And then it's Timid. So, we are going to go ahead and evolve Curlia. We're going to take this Everstone off. Because a lot of you voted for Gallade for my Pokemon. I went back and I got, a, I got the Dawnstone from Route 3 because I know I missed it. And I knew I had to surf to get it. So I did go back and get the Dawnstone. Which is right here. We have the Dawnstone. So we can use it on our Curlia. Now this is a one time only thing. I know that you guys probably want to see Mega Gardevoir. But just for the Oras hype. And for everything like that. We're going to go ahead and use Gallade. So let's go ahead and evolve our Curlia. Into Gallade. Look at Curlia. Alright, we're going to evolve into Gallade. I know that a lot of you probably would have preferred Gardevoir, but just at the time, the votes that won was... I mean, a lot of, yeah, a lot of you guys wanted Gardevoir, but a lot of people actually wanted Gallade because of Ulras. And because of Ulras, I really actually do want to use Gallade and get used to Gallade. So there's my, our Gallade now on our team. Look at him. He's so cool. Look at him. Oh my god. Mega Gallade, I don't mind his Mega Evolution. But now we have a level 35 Gallade on our team. And Fletchling, Fletchinder is about to evolve into Talonflame as well. So we made our way through the desert. And now we're in the Kalos Power Plant. So I'm going to go ahead and go through this. And you know, just for sakes of this, let's go ahead and put Gallade in the front. We'll put Fletchinder out to the side. And we'll go ahead and use Gallade against this Team Flare Grunt that's up here. I believe he's up here. No, we have to go through the door first. All right, so there's a team flag run up here. Knock, knock, who's there? Knock, knock, who are you? Knock, knock, who are you? You knock, 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 me, you, me, you too. Seriously, though, who are you? Only for an authorized personnel or not in here. So we're going to battle this Team Flare Grunt with our newly evolved Gallade. And we do actually have a Wonder Trade. We have a Doug Trio from the last episode to Wonder Trade out. So we'll go ahead and Wonder Trade that right after this battle. <clears throat> so he has a Scraggy, which a confusion from a Gallade should kill. Look at that Gallade. Nice, nice and battle ready. Alright, let's go ahead and go for a confusion. Oh, that's right. Scraggy's part dark. That's right. Let's just go for a magical leaf. Well, I don't think Scraggy is going to be the one. I mean, Gallade's going to be the one to go against Scraggy, so we're just going to withdraw and go out into Fletchender. Because then we can just go ahead and. Oh my goodness, we're going to go ahead and aerial ace this little Scraggy. That's a one shot. No, no takesy backsies on that Scraggy. And plus, we'll get Fletchender a nice boost as well. Crow Gunk is coming out. Anticipation. Uh, so let's go ahead. You know what? We're going to roost up here. Go ahead and roost it. Nice and roost. Get our HP back, and then we'll go ahead and swagger. You're gonna swagger my Fletchinder? Oh, sir, that that might not have been a great move. I am confused, so whatever's gonna happen is gonna hurt. So, can I get through it? No, we're gonna hit ourselves. Oh crap! Sucker punch, but failed. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's go ahead and use the hyper potion, and we'll hyper potion up uh Fletchinder. Whoa, okay, that's not what I want. Alright, so let's go ahead and try it for another aerial ace. I'm still going to be confused. Don't hit yourself in the face. Yeah, pull through. 
That's dead. That's dead. Even after that swagger, there's no way it's living it. There's no way. There's no way it's living. <laughs> There's no way it was living that. No way, indeed. All right, so we get $1,280. Who do you think you are? Team Flair's busy redirecting the power that's supposed to go to Lumia City. See? Don't get out of our way. I don't plan on getting in your way, but we're going to go ahead and go through. And let me just go ahead and heal up these guys really quick with our hyper potions. We can't use our revive, so it doesn't really matter. We're just going to heal them all up anyway. Get a nice even 15 hyper potions. And we'll go ahead and face this next one right here. And we'll go ahead and fight them now. So she sends out a crow gunk. Crow gunk is... Crow gunk isn't dark, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, it's dead. <laughs> nice and dead, Krogunk. Nice and dead. Alright, Gally gets a nice boost. It's going to send out Golbat. Gal Golbat is poison, so a Confusion should do a decent da amount of damage. But Golbat is always bulky. See, yeah, it's going to live that, no problem. Even though a Swift won't do anything to Gallade. So let's go ahead and go for another Confusion to take out this Golbat. Gallade's so powerful looking, and he's just like, oh, I'm going to confuse you with my confusion. I don't even know what to say about it. But Gallade's going to get boosted to a nice level 36. Gallade wants to learn Psycho Cut. Finally, 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 finally. Now, a confusion over a Psycho Cut. Psycho Cut, yep. Okay, confusion, you're gone. You're gone. Psycho Cut is going to do way more damage. So, ta-da, we forgot confusion, and we are going to learn Psycho Cut. All right. Get another 1320 for winning. Let's go ahead and go down here and see what we're going to do. All right, let's um let's go this way. No, nope, we're going to have to battle this guy first. Stop right there, intruder. Team Flare Grunt. Mighty Anna. Okay, so dark type is going to resist or psychic type. I got to remember that because I'm a stupid and obviously that's going to happen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch out for Fletchling, Fletchender because I don't I don't think Mighty Anna could do anything to Fletchling to be quite honest. It's a Gale Wings Fletchender Swagger. Every, every time I decide, hey, I'm going to switch Galade out for Fletchender, I get swaggered somehow, shape, or form. But Fletchner is a nice level 31, and I'm going to hit myself in the face. Nonetheless, roar. I'm going to roar out my Fletchner after you swaggered it, and bring out my Tentacruel. Okay, let's just Venoshock this thing with Tentacruel. You're just going to roar me continuously? Fletchner come back out, right? Yep, Fletchner comes back out. So, I should be able to take this thing out with an Aerial Ace, and I should be fine. Boom. Oh, no, I'm not. It's going to... Are you going to Swagger Roar me again? Because I don't think this thing can... I don't think it... I don't know. Let's just go for an Ember. I'm going to use the Ember, and we're going to get it off on the Mighty Enna. No, it's not going to kill it. Assurance? Ah, 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 ah. Nope, no, 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 no. Gyarados, come on out, come on out, come on out, Gyarados. <laughs> not losing Fletchender, not today. Everyone's getting XP in this battle. Oh my goodness, there's no way that thing is staying in. Okay, Roar. <laughs> Seriously. Larvitar is gonna come out. Alright, I don't think I have anything for it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and use Bite. I outspeed a Mighty Anna, and I'm just going to take it out with a bite. So Larvitar, Fletchender, and all of them get nice bonuses. Larvitar is going to level up. Yep, level 21. Tane <laughs> All right, Larvitar, Gallade. Fletchender is going to go to level 32, which evolves in three more levels. Level 37, Tentacruel. 
All right, so we defeated the Team Flare Ground. We defeated it, no problem. I mean, you just kind of, you lost on purpose my ass. I Yeah, no, there's no way you're going to lose on purpose to me. Now I'm mad. I told you I was persistent. I refused to budge from this spot. Not an inch. Right, well, I'll just go around. But I need to heal up Fletchner because this is just awful. Oh, I did not mean to heal you. All right, so do I have any more ethers? I do have an ether. I'm going to go ahead and give ether to the aerial ace. So I can have more aerial aces for when the time comes. Gallade's going to stay in the front. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Team Flare, I'm going to kill you with my Flare ability. Team Flare Grunt. It's going to issue a challenge. Scraggy cannot. we got to remember. Got to remember that my psychic type will not affect it. Because I'm a stupid. But we're going to set up a double team. Set up the double team just to get our evades this up. She's going to go ahead and go for the chip away. She's going to do nothing to me. I'm going to go ahead and go for a magical leaf. Which probably won't do anything to the scraggy. I do half. That was with a crit, though. Payback. Yeah, thank you. Uh, I'm going to set up a calm mind. Even though this thing is probably phys physically based, I don't care. I'm going to set up a calm mind. Because magical leaf, I believe, is... A Brick Break. You should know Brick Break won't affect a Gallade that much. Let's go ahead and go for a Magical Leaf. We get another crit. I don't know. We're not getting a crit to, on that one. But we're going to go ahead and get a nice 70, 720 boost. Okay, Golbat's going to come out. We're going to Psycho Cut this thing. That's a nice and dead critical hit. Golbat death. That's a nice and crit. Oh my god, holy crit, guys. That <laughs> It is dead. It is dead, dead, dead. Alright, so let's go ahead and go through this place again. Oh yeah, we got a wonder trade, don't we? We do have a wonder trade, so let's go ahead and get that out of the way. Let's see what we can get. What can we get for our little Doug Trio? Now, last time we got a Snubble. So, since we lost our Fairy Typing with Gallade, I might switch someone out for... Um, for the Snubble Fairy type. But then again, I would love to have Gumi. But I have him. So, I don't know. I don't know. I might switch out for the Fairy type Snubble because... I might take out uh, take out Espeon. I don't know. Do you guys want me to have Snubble or do you want to leave Espeon on the team? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, we're going to continue. But we're going to go ahead and Wonder Trade off our Hydra's Wonder Trade uh, Dugtrio. That's not a bad one, but we're going to go ahead and trade it off and see what we're going to get for it. Can we get something good for it? I really hope we can get something amazing. I mean, absolutely something amazing. So what are we going to get? You guys let me know in the comments. What Do you, do you think I'm going to get something amazing? Well, actually, you probably already see it. But, you know, we'll get something amazing, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Dugtrio, triple dick. Get me some Until We Die, Niote from Brazil. Are you going to give us something amazing, Niote? You're going to give us something amazing? Are you going to give us something um, 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 amazing? We got a Froakie, so we incorporate the dupes claws. Incorporating dupes claws for this little Froakie, because we do already have a Froakie, or actually we have a Frogadier, but we did already get a Froakie from Wonder Trade a while back. So we're going to go ahead and wonder trade this Froakie right back on out. Because, dupes, I don't want to have another one. I want to have something different. So let's go right back into, whoops. Let's go right back into the wonder trade. And we shall wonder trade this thing out. Let's see what kind of Froakie it is. It's a calm torrent, not anything. It's not like it's a, a great one. Uh, I think the other one, our Frogadier, is a Protean Froakie. Is a Frodian, Protean Frogadier. Frodian Frodian. Progadier? I don't even know, but it was a protean, it was a protean Froakie when we got it, so that, I'd rather have that one anyway, but it doesn't matter because the second one is what we trade out, and I need Xerneas Dalton from United States, Virginia. You know, if we ha already had Xerneas going, then <laughs> if we already caught Xerneas, then yeah, I would definitely be trading him as Xerneas right now, but Xerneas is also going to get wonder traded, guys, don't you worry. We got a Woobat. Okay. Not bad. I'm not going to use it <laughs> because I don't really care for Woobat or its design. If I was going to use any bat, I would rather have Zubat, Crobat, or a Golbat. 
those are the only ones I'd really rather use. So, plus for the poison typing, I mean, come on now. All right, so we got those guys switched up. And, you know, just for just for this sakes, I know we just evolved Gallade, but I'm going to put Fletchinger right in the front so we can evolve it. I really would love a Talonflame right about now. A, a, a Jolly Galewig's freaking Talonflame? Aren't these sunglasses just the, the coolest? I bet you're jealous. Too bad you can't have them. Jeez, man, I don't want you don't want your sunglasses. Just want to battle, man. Come on, take it easy. <laughs> Sends out a Golbat. See, this is what I'm talking about. I would love to have a Golbat over anything else. Now, Fletchinder, not a great matchup for this thing, but we're going to go ahead and Aerial Ace it anyway. Which doesn't do anything. Air Cutter. Which isn't going to do anything to me either. I believe Fly should take off a bit more damage. But it's going to use Confuse Ray. I'm going to go ahead and go for Fly and Shaboom! Whoa, took off a lot of its HP. Jeez, man. Oh my god. Ember should outspeed. Yes, thank you. Took out the Golbat with the Ember. Not bad at all. <laughs> oh, are we going to... No, we're just shy of leveling up. What is this? It's a Mighty Anna. All right. Do I want to keep you in or not? No, I don't think I do. We're going to go out in the Gyarados. Why the heck is not? Go out in the Gyarados. Get the Intimidate off, because this is probably... A I guess Mighty Anna's attacks are physical based. Yep. Assurance. It's going to be a nice Rocky Helmet damage for you. Which I'm not at all complaining. Let's go ahead and go for the Ice Fang. Hopefully we can get a flinch. Nope. It's going to swagger my Gyarados. That's probably the worst thing you can do. Probably the worst thing you could do is swagger a Gyarados. Sly himself is laughing at you if this thing doesn't hit itself. Every time I hit myself. Why do you swagger and roar? Okay, Tentacruel. Okay, just Venoshock and get this over with. I, I don't have time for this Mighty Anna. I'm here to, like, save the power plant. That's all I'm here for. So Tentacruel is technically my backup for a poison type. Fletcher is now going to go to level 33, meaning we have two more levels until evolution time. So I do need to heal him, uh, Fletcher or Gallade up, so let me go ahead and do that right now while I'm thinking about it, because I don't want to forget. Send them out into battle, and they just die. All right, let's go ahead and use a Hyper Potion. We'll Hyper Potion all three of these guys, because I don't want them dying. All right, so, all right, everyone's nice and healed. Let's continue onwards. I believe we have a couple more battles, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, one more here, and then I do believe another one on the line. Uh, along the line down so nice nice in battle i should have sped this up but i wanted to talk to you guys get out everything and this is just team flare it's kind of part of the main story in a sense fledgender is gonna go out we're just gonna fly on this swallow i don't want to sit here and aerial ace it to death i'm just gonna fly just in case what how do you hit a toxic all the way up there how do you hit toxic and when i'm flying that makes no sense. Alright, so Toxic is going to build up on Fletchender. I'm just going to go for an Aerial Ace, hopefully, hopefully, hoping that I can kill soon. Amnesia. You're just going to Amnesia, aren't you? I'm going to rack up Poison Damage, too. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go ahead and go in Aerial Ace one more time. Gonna amnesia one more time. An aerial ace should take it out. Uh, I just don't want to die. Go ahead and aerial ace this thing. We'll kill it. Mm, boom. Nice and dead. Swallow. It's a crit. Holy crit. Ah, oh, just shy of level? Come on. That's a ripoff. Then we'd only have one more to go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my damn. All right. So hyper potion new. Let's go ahead and use uh, an antidote for it. We'll use an antidote on Fletchner. Get that nice and healed. And then we'll go in uh, hyper potion up Fletchner as well. Getting in the nice equal 50 HP back. And we'll go ahead and run along. And I believe there's a couple more team flamers. So there's one here. I do believe there might be one more if I'm not mistaken. Because I think there's a total of five or six in here. 
Then I have to battle the other two guys. So Fletcher is going to come out against this Purloin. Don't like, I mean, Lipard. I mean, ugh. I don't like Lipard. Oh, it's going to fake out. You see, if this was a flame body, I could easily take it out. Because I would burn it. Hone Claws. Ew. You want to rise your attack. It doesn't matter because Aerial Ace is going to kill you. Boom. Got that fake out damage on me, but that's not going to happen anymore. Fletcher grows another level. level I was about to say lows another level, but no, it grows another level. We're going to be almost up there to take that. Oh my god. Okay. Just to do this, I'm going to fly because I bet Toxic is coming my way. Just to say that right now, it's Amnesia. Okay, that's new. Well, you're going to Amnesia while I'm at... Oh my god, he avoid... There's the Toxic. There's the Toxic. I wonder if this is a Venoshock one. Just to say that, I'm not going to stay in just because of that. Because I don't want Fletchinger taking anything else from this Swalot, just in case it has Venoshock. I don't... Does it learn Venoshock? I don't even remember. No, it's just going to Amnesia me to death. I don't see the point in having all these amnesias built up with this thing. I really don't see it. Body slam. Okay, we're just going to get our leftovers recovery then. Right, let's see if Surf does anything more. If not, I'm going to switch out and I'm just going to use someone else. Actually, Gallade with the Psycho Cut would actually be a lot better. Yep, I'm going to switch out into Gallade, actually, because Psycho Cut would do a lot more damage to this, and it'll probably kill it, for that matter. Is Psycho Cut physical? I believe Psycho Cut is physically based, if I'm not mistaken. He goes for the Encore, which is nice, because I'm not going to... Either way, if I get Encored in the Psycho Cut, that thing's dead. Yeah, that's dead. It's it's not going to live anything from a Gallade. All right, Gallade, you're going to level up as well to level 37. Not too bad at all, actually. Tentacruel leveled up. Fletchinder is not going to level up all the way. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> okay, I want at least him to evolve before we end the episode. Which I'm not going to end the episode yet. But we're just going to go ahead and use the antidote on Fletchinder to get him. Is it, a, is it a him? I think it's a him. Him or her, nice and healed before we have to go. One more, yeah, see, one more battle. I knew there's one more somewhere. Ah, oh, I should have sped this up, but that's okay. It's okay. I don't, I, I didn't need to do that. Team Flare Grant sends out Crow Gunk. Ew. Well, it's a fighting type, so I can aerial ace it. It'll kill it. And this will actually, um, cause me to level up. So I'll be able to level up, and I'll be able to evolve. It's a crowly crit. <laughs> All right, so we're going to level up, meaning Talonflame is on the way. Talonflame is on the way. Scraggy. We're just going to sit in here and get all these Scraggies out of the way next. I'm sorry, Callum. You're going to have to die. Yeah, Scraggy. I'm sorry, buddy. Krogunk and Scraggy, my two little favorite buddies. Oh, okay. We're going to priority fly out of here. It's going to fake out me anyway. I'm going to fly anyway. Fly just to avoid any sort of attack. I bet it home claws. Nope, goes to tor Torment. And that's a dead Lipard. Nice and dead. I am not going to level up, but that's okay. Because we get another evolution. We got two evolutions this episode. This is the evolution spectacular today. Fletcher is evolving? What? <laughs> oh my goodness, we get our talent flame. We got a talent flame. All right, <laughs> enough of that. But we have a talent flame now, thanks to leveling up like a magnificent boss. Look at that beautiful, beautiful Gale Wings talent flame. That is so boss. I love it so much. Talent flame, the OP bird Pokemon, but that's okay. You know, I needed a flying type anyway. Luckily, we got a flying fire. And I do believe that this is the end of the journey. How much longer? If you're just interested in the facts, I'd say we're already have, we already have enough energy to power the device. Good, let's finish up here and move out. There's still more work to be done. What? 
What other book do you mean? Perhaps you mean taking off that annoying little Pokemon train over there? What's this? I don't think anyone remained here after we dealt with the workers. All right, let's go ahead and take out this Flare Grunt. Or actually, he's an admin, Team Flare admin. I wish they kind of personalized the admins a little bit more, but that's okay. That's okay. Okay, so Houndoom. Talonflame. <laughs> Talonflame against a Houndoom. An Aerial Ace with this. Let's see. What is it going to do? It is not going to kill it anyway. Faint attack. Ew. Oh! Well, you know, we're just going to not stay in. It's a dark type, so I can't do that. Uh, we're going to go into Gyarados so Aquatel will kill this. But we have a Talon Flame. We got to see Talon Flame in action for a little bit. Gyarados with the Intimidate. So this thing won't do any Odor Sooth. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna identify my Gyarados. Okay, we're gonna Aquatel. Bulk up. Oh no, wait. Beat up. I'm sorry. It's a beat up, not bulk up. Boom. Aquatel dead. Nice and dead. Hound Doom. I feel like the levels are actually on par with most of this stuff. The Hound and Flame good level 36. Not bad. You only had one Pokemon. That's okay. But I feel like our levels are just on par with everything on the on the Team Flare teams and as well as the gyms. So I believe we're on par with everything and we don't have to really over we're not really over leveled and overstepping anything. So let's see here. Scientist, take care of this pesky intruder. Aha! Uh -huh. I would be my pleasure. Come on now, trainer. Let's see what you got. Alright, come on, come at me. Team at team at me. Come at me. Team, I'm one of the Team Flare scientists. I'm researching a certain something that you wouldn't understand anyway. Unfortunately for you, I've been charged with the simple task of your elimination. Too bad you're not going to eliminate me. I'm going to eliminate you before you even blink. Team Flare, Aliana. Mighty Anna. My, nice and mighty Anna. Alright, Talonflame's going to come out. Oh, I didn't heal Talonflame. But, that's okay. Well, Talonflame's not going to appreciate the Intimidate anyway. We're going out into... No, I can't go out to him. If I, if only it knew a fighting type move, I would be so helpful. But we're gonna go into Gyarados anyway. Nice and Gyarados, get the intimidate off on them, and that won't do anything to me. But Gyarados is bulky anyway. Assurance, watch that take off a clean like more than what I thought. All right, so Ice Fang, that'll do decent, right? Nope. Scary face. We gotta lower my speed. Yeah, speed's gonna harshly fall, but Aqua Tail, I still have speed anyway. Boom, Aqua Tail is gonna finish off the Mightyena, and that's a GG no re. With Gyarados leveling up to level, I'm about to say evolving at level 41, leveling up to level 41. Oh, Hydro Pump! Yes, thank you indeed. I do indubitably believe I will take that. But what do we want to get over it with? I want keep drag. I want keep drag. Aqua tail. Mm. Um. I want to keep aqua tail. Uh. You know, what? we'll just go ahead and get rid of aqua tail. Why not? The hydro pump is real. Talon Flame's gonna gain some XP as well. Look at her, she's like, oh my goodness. You're quite you're quite strong. Oh yes, very strong indeed. I received five thousand dollars for winning. Alright. Ha ha ha! Well I certainly didn't expect you to be so interesting. Oh, I do hope we meet again. Thank you. I guess. Let's go ahead and get out. Oh. The the, the heroes. Okay. Um Oh, ma. Okay. You chased off that mysterious bunch before we could even get here. Well, I guess there's always room for more defenders of Kalos. Let me heal your Pokemon as a thanks. You and your Pokemon are the ultimate team, no doubt about it. And don't, but don't push yourself too hard. Here, take these. What are these? Full restores all. Thank you. I needed some of those, actually. I really actually did need some of them. Now people can pass through the gate connecting Route 13 to Lemieux City again. Well, I think us mysterious people will be off now. I, le I leave before I'm being left, I decide. Au revoir! Okay. Is there anything in here that I need? 
I don't think there's anything in there that we need. So let's go ahead and get on out. And leave this way. We'll go this way. And we'll go ahead and make our way to Lumio City, where we can go ahead and get our badge. But let's go ahead and go in here first. You. Oh, we got Flame Charge. Yeah. We got Flame Charge, so I can teach that in the Talon Flame. And we can get rid of Ember. We got the Magnet. Okay, not bad at all. Okay, let's see. Who gives us else? Um, no, you. Uh, you want water? No, no, thanks. You. Yeah, we got the Zap Plate. Not too bad at all. Uh, let's go ahead and go this way. Let's go this way. Let's go ahead and go on down to where we need to go, and that is towards Lumio City, where we can finally take on the gym and get our fifth and almost final badge we have three more after the lumio city badge thankfully we're almost done guys i really really want to finish this game for you guys because i want it to be like amazing i want this series to be like one of the first x or y series that we complete which it actually will be which is amazing just to think about that all right so this is where we need to go all right come on come on come on come on no, let's go this way. Oh, we got AZ. The Pokemon. The flower Pokemon. The Pokemon that was given eternal life. Not much of a talker, are you? He's huge, though. Look at him compared to me, though. And he's like, I'm gonna eat your face and... Give you man titties. I don't even know. Actually, let's go see what's over here. I think I may have missed something. I maybe missed something. Yes, there's stuff over here. Oh, I don't have my rock smashing Pokemon. Crap. Oh, we'll go back and get that. We'll go back over there in a minute. Um, but the main part of the storyline is basically trying to get through. Hey, you. Okay, yeah. Uh, no. Clement, the electric type gym leader. And. Hydros. I, I ran after you that crazy when I spotted you up ahead. You know what? I heard the power's back on Lumio City. Some really bad people were stealing electricity from the Catalyst power plant, and then somebody came and stopped them. No one knows who, but I think they must be awesome. Who do you think it was? It was me. Duh, I want the credit. Whoa, no way, you Hydros. And get this. They're not going to light the... They're going to light the tower. Let's go see it, Hydros. It's Lumio City's most famous site. The Prism Tower. This way, you'll run straight ahead. You'll run smack into Prism Tower. All right, let's go ahead and go right to the Prism Tower. We'll see the lights being brought up, and then and then we'll go ahead and uh, take on the next gym. Actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and take on the gym in this episode, guys. And that's not a big deal at all. We got we did we did the power plant. We'll take on the gym. Power plant and the gym kind of go together anyway. But we'll go ahead and do it anyway. Good timing. They're just about to turn on lights. <laughs> Look, it's Clement. He's Lumio City's gym leader. He's also good at inventing things, and he does, and he makes all kinds of devices. Those two are my friends. <laughs> all right. Um, are you done yet? <laughs> Not quite. <laughs> I just have to check the check on the lighting circuit here. Oh, Shauna, are you, and you are a challenger? Sorry, but could you wait a moment? Come on, Clement. Uh, all right, everything's all everything's ready. The future is now, thanks to science. Prism Tower lighting system activate. <laughs> oh, Clement's have the fun voice to do. Look at this. We're also playing in the nighttime, guys. So I, I'm playing when it's like nighttime for me here. So you guys get to see the Prism Tower in the nighttime, which is just beautiful. It actually is beautiful in the game. It for a Pokemon game, and for all the years that we have done playing Pokemon. Uh, I'll talk to you, I'll, I'll get to you in a moment, but uh, all the years that we've played Pokemon and all the years that Pokemon have been out and the graphics and everything just constantly being updated. I mean, X and Y was really outdone with the uh, Prism Tower. It really is quite beautiful. So, I think you call this feeling being entranced, right? Now, I have another great memory of you, the Hydros. Excellent. My Prism Tower lighting system worked brilliantly, just like all my other in inventions. Oh, well, I can disconnect from the internet. Uh, yeah, right. Whatever. They are challenging, you know. 
Bring the tower itself as limitless as it is, Pokemon Gym. All right. Clement's adventures sure are amazing, right? He gave me one of those puzzles to solve puzzles, but I always feel like a shame to use it, so I haven't. Okay, good luck at the gym. All right, let's go ahead and take on the Prism Tower Pokemon Gym right now. The Electric Type Gym. All right, so before we take on the gym... Talon Flame is going to be completely garbage compared to these Pokemon. Larvitar is going to be absolutely handy being a rock type Pokemon. Because rock ground, actually, right? It's rock ground, so it won't do shite. And uh, yeah, we gotta answer these quizzes, blah 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 blah. I don't want to I don't want to talk to you right now. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Quiz time. It is a Pikachu. Who's that Pokemon? Three Pikachu, duh. All right, so let's go ahead and go out into you. You chose a Pikachu, right? Yes, yeah, so let's battle, please. Can we please battle? This becomes kind of tedious in the, in the, in the long run, but it's okay. Schoolboy Finian Dedene. That's a that's an electric fairy type. So the electric type moves aren't going to do anything to Larvitar, thankfully. So we're just gonna rock slide. Which that did nothing. Let's go ahead and do chip away. You're gonna rest after that much of the damage? Really? Well, that's complete garbage. What's well, okay? Larvitar evolves at level 31. So, um, Pokemon. We can go out in the Tentacruel, because the Dene is part fairy, so the. Venoshock would actually do wonders against this thing. It should do wonders anyway. It's fast asleep. It's gonna use Snore, isn't it? Yeah, that does nothing. That did like nothing to Tentacruel. 10 HP of damage. I'm gonna gain near about all of that back anyway. So Venoshock, let's go. Um, hopefully that does quite a bit of damage. Yeah, that that's pretty much gonna take it out almost. It's gonna Snore again. Doing literally no, no damage whatsoever. <laughs> and we're just going to regain literally almost all of that back. And we're going to go ahead and go for a cut. Because no sense in wasting Venno Shocks on this thing. It's really, really no point at all. Uh, is that the only Pokemon they had? I cannot remember at this point. Level 38 for our Tentacruel. Not bad. Level up. It wants to learn Poison Jab. Ooh. Venoshock is 65. Poison Jab has 80. Okay, yeah, Venoshock, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Venoshock, and we're going to learn our Poison Jab. I like that. I like that indeed. Larvitar is now level 22. So I need to teach Larvitar actually some ground-type moves, because the ground-typing is what's super effective against Electric. So, step into the elevator. So I only had one Pokemon. Not bad. We'll go ahead. Um, Did I get it? <gasps> Yeah, we got it. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's go ahead and go. Can we please go to the next part? Yes, Pikachu, I get it. Let's go. Ding dong, I'm correct. Can we move along? All right. Uh, before I move along, anyway, um, let's go ahead and we shall see if we have any... See so if we have any ground-type moves here. I just want something ground... I don't have any ground type moves, really. We're going to teach uh, Flame Charge to Talon Flame. Um, forget Ember. Forget that Ember. All right, so we got Ember gone. We got that. Either way, I can't. I don't have any ground type moves anyway. So we're gonna go ahead and go out into this next one. Quiz time. What is this? This is a fledgling. One number one. Thank you. Yes, it's a fleshling. Let's. Can we battle, please? Now, Clement's bitch of a Pokemon is gonna be. Um. I believe it's gonna be. Emolga. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and set up a Sandstorm. It's gonna quick attack me. 
It's going to not do anything to me, so I'm going to go ahead and go for Sandstorm. Which, any either way, if I get burned or poisoned, the Guts boost for me is going to be amazing. So let's go ahead and go for a Rock Slide. It's going to Tail Whip, lowering my defense, which it's okay. See, oh my goodness, he avoids the attack. Uh, you got to be kidding me. Go for an Electric Move, I dare you. No, he's going to go for Quick Attack. Oh, well, that's going to be nothing. Rock Slide, let's see. Can we do decent damage? No, not really. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. We'll go ahead and switch out. Go ahead and switch out into our Gallade, which can take anything from this. But unfortunately, Gallade's going to get buffeted by Sandstorm. That's okay. All right, she's going to use Quick Attack. Doing literally hardly anything. It's a crit, though. Right, you buffeted. Thank you. And I'm going to go ahead and go for the Psycho Cut. Boom. Take that Raichu out, and that's dead. That is a dead Raichu. <laughs> Larvitar level 23, so we have seven more levels. No, don't learn Scary Face. So we have seven more levels till it evolves into Pupitar, which then it evolves at level 55 into Tyranitar, which I really, really would love the Tyranitar right, right about now. Seven to the elevator, please. Thank you very much. Can we please move this along? Dino, Dino, Dino. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Got it. We got it. We got it. Fletchling. All right. Let's go ahead and continue onwards. Oh my God! There's one more. Seriously. Okay. 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 No quiz time. Uh, Pen poor. I know it's Pen poor. Three. Uh, we'll go to Panpour. Yes, it is Panpour. I know it's Panpour. Please let me just be able to do this. I have one more quiz thingy after this. Oh my goodness, I don't want this anymore. I don't want it. Ampharos. Well, Ampharos, you're gonna... I think you have garbage speed anyway. I don't want to risk Ampharos. I don't want to risk Talonflame or any of my other water-type Pokemon being hit. So, I'm going to go on to my Gallade. Confuse Ray. Thanks! You're so cute. Ampharos. Look at Ampharos. Psycho Cut. Don't you dare hit yourself. After setting not to hit yourself. Thunder Punch. Oh my dear golly gosh. Alright, we're going to Hyper Potion up right about now and uh Gallade, you need to just not die Ampharos is gonna go for another thunder punch i'm sure yep there it is hoping for the paralysis which doesn't get it i'm gonna go ahead and go for a psycho cut again and i snap out of confusion wah, 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 wah. that doesn't do nearly enough that i wanted it to um you know what you know what? I might as well just go ahead and go for Psycho Cuts because I can't do anything else. I'm hoping for a crit. It goes for the Confuse Ray. I know I'm going to hit myself the first turn, so I'm just going to use a Hyper Potion this turn so I don't die. So, just the risk. If I hit myself, I know I'm going to die. I know I'll die if I hit myself, and I'm not taking that risk. Because I know I can take at least four Thunder Punches. I can take three before dying to the fourth. So yeah, that's one. That does literally like 25%. Let's go ahead and go for a Psycho Cut. I'm going to hit myself. I know I am. Yep, I'm going to hit myself. Take a Thunder Punch. I can't take it. Oh my god, that took off way too much. Way, way too much. Way too much. Hyper Potion it up. Took off way too much. Thunder Punch again. Stop hitting me, you damn, damn it. Oh my god, they get the Paralysis too. Come on. All right, we're just going to use a Paralyze Heal because I know I can't I can't outspeed without it. It's just going to go for a Thunder Punch. Oh my god, are you serious? I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. I knew it, 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 knew it. I'm just going to use a Fuller Store. Oh, I just knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. I was going to get paralyzed right as I did it. And I got rid of my confusion, thankfully. 
Thunder Punch. This Ampharos is such a bitch. I swear. Oh my god! You're gonna go for Confuse Ray, aren't you? Electro Ball? Oh my god, are you serious? I've never had this much trouble from an Ampharos. Oh my god. Full Restore. I have to use my last one. I have to use the last one. Doesn't even matter. Watch. Watch, I get paralyzed again. Thank god. Now I can take it out with a Psycho Cut. Ah, oh, die, you stupid Ampharos. This is a long episode, guys. I know. Unfortunately, I know. I'm sorry. We're gonna go ahead and take on the last battle as well. Level 38. Thank god. I should have leveled up from that at least. Alright, Larvitar. He's gonna go to level 24. Six more levels till Pupitar. And we're gonna go ahead and take on... We do have one more questionnaire type thing. Which the tedious part is getting to the elevators waiting for them to go, no, no. Yeah, so can we please hurry it up? Can we hurry it up? Can we hurry it up? Can we hurry it up? Go up, 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 up. Next, it's Panpour. I know it was. Ding, ding, you're correct. Blah, 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 blah. Moving on to the final question, which is Vivian something else. That's a Butterfree. That's a Vivillon. And that's a Motham. Which one is Vivillon? Number two. Number two is Vivillon. Number two is Vivillon. Let's see if you're right. We're going to battle. We're going to battle, battle. We're going to battle, battle. Let's battle on with Pokemon fan Linde. Who sends out a little puzzle? Okay. Because I know Espeon can take a hit, Espeon's gonna go out anyway. Espeon, you gonna take a hit? A play nice. You're gonna lower my attack? That's okay. That's okay. Everything else is special attacking. No, the fuck it's not. Because just every bite, swift, takedown, whatever. It avoids a takedown. Okay. You know what? I do believe Gyarados can take anything from this. So I'm not going to worry about Gyarados being taken out. It is four times weak to Thunder. But I'm not too worried about it. Oh yeah, I'm not worried about it at all. Just going to Dragon Rage. Just go ahead and Dragon Rage. Which does nothing. It's going to Swift? Really? The Swift literally did nothing. I want a Hydro Pump, but then again, I don't. You know, let's just go for it. Go for the Hydro Pump. It avoids it anyway. Avoids the Hydro Pump. My life story right there. Hydro Pump again. Boom, Gyarados. Bye-bye, <gasps> Plusle. Bye-bye, Plusle. Bye-bye, Mr. Plusle. Larvitar grew to level 25. So we're five levels away from a pupitar. Can we please get into the elevator? Please. Oh my god, please just keep go. This episode's almost 50 minutes. It's gonna be 50 minutes with a grinding montage. So I wanna get this ended. I wanna end it's gonna we're gonna end right before Clement. <laughs> because I know we can take on Clement, no problem. So, in the next episode, guys, we're going to go on and take on Clement, and we're going to do whatever else we can do, hopefully get a few more Wonder Trades. So, thank you guys so much for watching this episode and staying with me so long up until this point. But I really wanted to get the Team Flare thing out of the way and then get the gym out of the way. And also, we got a few level ups and everything. I know a lot of that could have been sped up into a grinding montage, but hey, I wanted to be able to talk to you guys and get one episode out for you guys as well. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and also comment down below the question of the day, which is what is your favorite electric type Pokemon? Let me know down in the comments down below, guys. Let me know your favorite electric type Pokemon. Mine happens to be electric type. Mine actually happens to be Ampharos, even though it was such a bitch to take out in this episode. I do love Ampharos. It's really cool. I love its mega evolution for its electric type. So let me know your favorite electric type down in the comments down below, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a fantastic day.